Joining me is George He. He's a psychologist and the chief of mental health at Shanghai United Family Hospital. George, thanks for joining us. Uh, what sort of mental toll have these lockdowns, these shut-ins taken on people, and what will it take for people to overcome that impact? Uh, thank you for having me on. You know, this this lockdown and this quarantine period is absolutely unprecedented, at least in our lifetimes, both in its scope its severity and its duration. And the mental, the mental toll right now, we are just really only beginning to understand. However, the science does tell us that there are certain things that people deal with in these situations, including anxiety, including depressive symptoms, and including fears of all types. Um, it's very important to note, too, that this type of situation does not occur in a vacuum. This type of situation occurs with people who have already been dealing with their real lives and the stressors contained in their real lives. So such a situation can also exacerbate any pre-existing issues that people have had. What have we been seeing in Wuhan over these last few days as the lockdowns there ended? Well, we've been seeing a lot of things. We've been seeing people um, experiencing renewed hope, people um, experiencing connections again socially with people that they've been unable to connect to um, in ways that they want. We've been ex experiencing people seeing and reconnecting with um, their previous lives. Uh, be that family, be that friends, or in some cases even work. So we've been seeing a lot of hope, but now I think people are moving from sort of a concern of physical health and now into the concerns regarding the mental health impact of this type of lockdown. And so we've been seeing people also beginning to accessing mental health services of different types uh, at this stage. What are some of the potential issues as people try to get back to so-called normal life, whatever that may be? Well, you know, I think the mental health issues uh, it can become more and more salient at this stage, uh, including addressing any sort of anxiety, fears, fears such as um, now that we are out of this quarantine period, what does my job look like? What do my finances look like? How, what does my community and society look like? What, are, what is the new normal, so to speak, and what are the new social mores and norms that we're going to have to adhere to, given the information that we have about viruses and about uh, potential infections? For people still shut in their homes, facing these lockdowns all around the world, what strategies would you offer for them to cope with what's happening now and also to better prepare for reintegration after all this is over? It's a really good question. What I would suggest is this. I would suggest that all of us find the opportunity to connect with hope. All of us should find the opportunity to connect with anything in our lives that provides hope and provides security, regardless of what stage of this lockdown we're in. Um, here in China, people are coming out in a stage where, where we are coming out of this lockdown period and preparing to reintegrate back into workplaces, back into schools, and back into other segments of society. But much of the rest of the world is not yet in this period. And so what I would suggest is no matter where we are, no matter how we are dealing with this issue, that we connect with the hope that is in our lives. And that could be as simple as a daily schedule. Um, that could be as simple as making sure that we are keeping up with the things that we normally did in our lives, such as keeping up with social connections, making sure we're paying attention to our physical fitness and our diet. We've seen in the past few years people shifting from real life human interaction to virtual interactions on their smartphones. I think now lots of people missing those human interactions. Do you think we'll see a shift back after this as a result? You know, it's a very interesting question. I think you know, this pandemic has, um, you know, obviously resulted in also the largest work from home experiment in our lifetimes, the largest e-learning experiment in our lifetimes, and it will be really inter interesting to see how technology now and um, the communication tools associated with technology now begins to connect and begins to affect all other segments of our lives. And I think it would be really interesting to see. I think, I, I would suspect that going forward, we'll see a uh, the technological communication platforms utilized a lot more. All right, George Hu, encouraging us to attach on to a message of hope. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.